government spokesperson and minister K G K Nipra, 25th Hornwheel Festival Laga Plains Khan announced Kushe. Kude Taipra, Kisama Heritage Village Ke Aru, Sundar Bonai Dia Laga Kushish Nagak Culture Celebrate Kuribole Asi Kushe. Taipra Register of Indigenous Inhabitants of Nagaland Laga, Oporebi Kota Kurishe. Kude Laga Emdu, Indigenous Residents Khan Ke Identify Kuribole Para, Boy Ajikali, Illegal Immigration Laga. Bishit Diki Diktera Saman Kriya Sibushe. R I N Du December 1, 1963, cut off date as a 1964 electoral rolls refer Kuriya Kena. You are making a claim. Others are not coming forward. It is only your claim. So that is where we have been all these years. Now, in the present day, you see how the situation has arrived surrounding us. All this demographic migration, illegal immigrants invading our state, who has been felt for now more than two decades very seriously. So this government, as well as the successive governments, have been trying to do something about checking the influx of these uh, illegal immigrants, threatening our very existence and uh, our interest in, in every way. And uh, if we are not cautious and careful and does not take preventive measures, we will become strangers in our own land. India is a democracy. We are a democracy. Ultimately, if we are, if, uh, we are outnumbered, it will be a completely different story. So these are preventive measures where now, after so long, the government of India and the parliament have at last reinstated the 1873 Bengal Eastern Frontiers Regulation Act, which was there till the eve of India's independence during British mm -hmm. India. But after they brought out a new constitution, they drafted a new constitution, the new country did not insert the 1873 Act, by called Eastern Frontier Regulation Act, and provided to protect us. So it is after seven decades that in 2019, December, a new section was added and this Bengal Eastern Frontiers Regulation Act has been provided again for us. So it became a full-fledged law. Otherwise, it was only an ordinance. I've told you many times, back in 2019 and 20, about that Parliament Act. So it is by chance, or an unseen hand was behind, but we got back that status, and now we can fully implement the provisions under this particular Act of 1873, which actually gives the, gives the full power for implementation of the inner, inner line permit regulations. <coughs> so we're glad that we have this protective law. And now, who will fall under the purview of the inner line permit and who should not? When that question comes, we have to be selective. Not every person in the state of Nagaland uh, is eligible to be given that status of an indigenous <coughs> citizen. So the government has entrusted our former chief secretary, Mrs. Bano, and she and her team have worked very hard to bring out this 
rules and regulations uh, of the register of indigenous inhabitants of Nagaland. Here, the government have taken a long time to work out the provisions and how to go about implementing this new law. They recognize Naga indigenous citizens will not be affected of their status and we have to be selective also among certain indigenous communities which we have generously conferred to them the four the four sub-tribes like Kukis, Mikiris, Garos and Kacharis. Specifically their names have been mentioned. We have seen in the press that they have reacted sharply to the extent of threatening the government for Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.